Hello everybody, so today I want to very quickly just show you how to use the subdivision tools, very straightforward. So let's say for example I'll create, hmm, let's start off with a maybe a cube, okay, simple cube. And within this maybe I want to split the, the polygons, so I'll try and hit the C key. Uh, okay, I need to go first of all to the radial menu. And then let me look for polymodeling. Hit the C key, and now I'll go to edge loop, and I'm just going to kind of divide this up a little bit. So I'll just divide it here and again. Let's create that again. If you hit the Q key, then you can just repeat the last thing that you did. In this case, it was create a poly. So okay, so I've created two poly splits there. Now this time what I want to do, I want to maybe edit that. So let's look at that. Let me go to my transform tool and I'm going to select this time. I'm going to select, um, we should go, let's go with points. I'm going to select this point here. Oops, let me go to my select tool. There we go, select that point. Transform, I'm going to move that around. Now you notice when I change that, I'm getting this edit tool here and this is telling me what I've translated point 12 this group here is the it's giving me the point number so point 12 i've transformed it by this uh this amount here okay now maybe i want to subdivide this it's not gonna look great but let's go for that so let's subdivide and now i've got more geometry added it just basically increases the resolution and i can increase it more to by the depth of two depth of three i've increased it more again okay now let's say for example I want those uh, those um, corners a bit tighter. So I'm going to remove this edit tool actually. Let's remove that. So I'm back to my, uh, my cube. Let's remove my split tools also. Let's get rid of them. Okay. And then my subdivide. Let's go to this. Now look when, as I increase the resolution I'm getting almost a sphere here. And of course that's because I need to create some more geometry in order to hold this together. So let me go back to my C key again. I'm going to go to my edge loop and I'm going to create some extra edges. So let's create one here, one here. Let's see how that does. Oops, I want to just remove this from here and put this at the bottom. All right, let's add some subdivision. Now you can see I'm getting these tighter edges here. I want to do this all round. So again, let me go back to here. Hit my uh, last. Aha! Uh -huh, that's not the function I wanted. I wanted the edge loop. Thank you. All right. So now let's select that one. Let's make that one. Let's make one here. One here. There we go. So I've got quite a lot of geometry on there. I'm going to redo that last one actually, and. Let's make that a bit tighter. Okay, that looks better. Now go back to my subdivision yet again. And now you can see I've got that cube because what happens is this geometry here, this will cut this geometry and this holds this in place. You've probably seen this in other piece of, pieces of software too. Other 3D software works in exactly the same way. When you subdivide it, you might need to add additional resolution in there before you subdivide it in order to hold the kind of shape that you want and get the curves that you want on the edges. Okay, let me um, remove, I think, that there. Super, and then I'm going to remove the wire. There we go. All right, looks nice. All right, hope this was useful. If you have any comments, questions, or criticisms, of course, please leave them in the comments below. I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a great day.